Hello there. Today we're talking General Patch. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the channel. For this video I'm trying something a little bit new. Not only have I actually done some research this time, but I've actually scripted the video, so this is going to be interesting. Now, before we start, I just need to quickly draw your attention to that pesky little icon, icon and ask you to please just take a little, uh, just a few seconds of your time just to click upon it. That would be great. It really does help the channel reach a wider audience. Also, whilst you're busy doing that, why not click on that naughty little subscribe icon? And whilst you're busy doing that, might as well hit the notifications as well, right? Okay, thanks for that. Right then, some of you may remember that I recently started collecting the Gloob 18 figures. Um, if you haven't already, you can check out my 18 video by following that handy little link that I've left in the description. Wait until you've watched this video first, obviously. Um, right, well, I decided uh, then to start tracking down some of the bad guys to go with the range. And whilst searching for those on the internet, I fell down a massive rabbit hole. A rabbit hole that I now wish to take you guys down. So sit back, enjoy the ride, and we will see what these figures are all about. Now, these chaps are the bad guys from the 1982 Galoob Gem Patch range of military vehicles and figures. Gem Patch, or General Patch, as you can see, is a line where Galoob were trying to snap up a little bit of that juicy Hasbro G.I. Joe market. Gem Patch and his combat troops with weapons that smell of combat, apparently. Mm. Not sure I'd want my kids to smell combat, as I imagine it smells quite awful, though I do freely admit I have absolutely no first-hand experience in this matter. Now, Galoob didn't really uh, have any imagination when they came up with some names for these guys. So they're really, they're, they are just called the Evil Enemy, well, at least they know who they are, right? And um, this guy, because he's got a flamethrower, um, can anyone guess what his name is? That's right, he's Flamethrower Man. Because of the flamethrower. Um, even though he does look a little bit like the Yorkshire Ripper. So, he's got the right face for evil, I guess. And this guy... Well, he's got a mortar. So can we guess his name? That's right. He's Mortar Man, obviously. Although I think he's missing a helmet. I'm not 100% sure. But um, the face of evil. Both these guys are actually in really good condition. Considering they're from 1982. So that's now 42 years old. So, um, yeah, I was actually amazed to, to find them. Never knew they existed. And I prefer these to the actual bad guys that go with the 18 line. I'm also surprised that Galoob didn't put these back out as the bad guys for the 18 line. Because with all the points of articulation, they fitted in quite well with the 18. Now, you can also see that Galoob have actually reused these uniforms for their 18 figures. Here we have good old General Patch himself. And now if I put a picture of Hannibal Smith next to him, they're exactly the same, apart from one's green and one's blue. Now this is a picture from the back of the A-Team headquarters set. And as you can see, the original concept for the team's uniforms were actually the green versions from the Gen Patch. I guess when it came around to actually producing figures, Galoob must have found some cash down the back of the sofa and they could actually afford to splash out on some different colored plastic. But Galoob didn't just repurpose the figures. What they actually did also was to repurpose the vehicles. So. The Gem Patch Missile Attack Set would go on to become the A Team Armored Attack Adventure Set. The Gen Patch Eagle Eye Interceptor 
was repurposed as Murdoch's interceptor jet bomber. Unfortunately, Gem Patch never had a GMC van, but he did have an anti-infiltration patrol boat, which would be taken over by Hannibal Smith and become the motorized patrol boat. Personally, I actually prefer the Gem Patch artwork over all the 18 versions. It's got some real cool action artwork. Artwork, yeah. So um, maybe... I'm not sure why Galoob didn't make some artwork for the A-Team. They just used the, the A-Team logo. Well, actually, I know why, because that would have been a lot cheaper than making some funky artwork. Right, well, that's answered my own question, I guess. The great thing about this line is that it's not that popular. Not a lot of people know about it. So if you can find them and they're willing to help, Maybe you could hire the Gem Patch Evil Enemy for bargain prices, just like I have. Now, there are many different variations of these figures that I found produced by different companies other than Galoob. But they're all based on the same molds and they all look pretty much the same. So we have fantastic lines such as Thunder, Peace and Freedom Troops. There's Concept 2000's Commando Ranger, which is everyone's hero, apparently, with Gunner Bill and Parachute Pete, who, in this pack, is missing his parachute. So I guess he's just Pete then. If we look at some of the other characters in the line, we can also see they have very inventive names, such as Trooper Tom, General Len, and Air Force Fred. Here we can also see that Gunner Bill has a bazooka, and Bazooka Bob is armed with a gun. Also, poor old Parachute Pete still has no parachute. But he does have a flamethrower. Seriously, was no one paying any attention back in the day? At least the Demon Ranger evil enemy has some more inventive names like the Terror or the Mercenary. No, actually, no. No, these names are also bloody awful. And on to, well, just plain Commando. No idea who produced these, but they were made in China, so that narrows it down, doesn't it? Now, these guys were given some much better names, such as Seahawk, Scarface, Robin. Wait, what? Captain JB? Is he supposed to be James Bond? Foxy? Dove? He looks like a child opening a Christmas present. Oh, this one's my personal favourite. The clean-shaven Big Beard. Maybe it's supposed to be an ironic name like Little John in Robin Hood. Okay, now National Defence. Spelt with an S instead of a C. The N and D are in the colours of the, the Dutch flag. So maybe this is the Dutch version? But then maybe it's a G.I. Joe ripoff. Thus, explaining why the American flag is also in the background as well as being included in the set. If you know anything about this, let me know in the comments. Special Force! Now, these guys are obviously French because they have a massive American flag on the packaging. Oh yeah, and all the writings in French, that's kind of a giveaway. Um, now, I actually have this figure. I'm not sure what he's called, as uh, this range don't seem to have any names, as you can see here on the back of the box. Is it me, or some of these guys seem to be posed as if they're straining for a massive poo? Or maybe dancing, disco dancing on the battlefield? Anyway, this dude is definitely on the bad guy side. And I think, if we look at the Commando Ranger range, he could be possibly the Brute or the Masher. To be fair, I don't know. If you know, let me know in the comments below. But here's a really cool figure, and here he is, in the flesh, as it were. He's um, in really good condition. He feels like a, he's made of a different kind of plastic to the Gloob figures. I'm not sure when this range came out. There's no dates printed on him. But if he's a slightly more modern version, it is pretty cool that they're still using 
the same moulds that Galoob came up with 42 years ago. Bit of a he does have a bit of a weird face. Reminds me a bit of the smoking man from X Files. Right, okay then. Now, before I actually end this video, I just wanted to show this one special force character, the killer, and his lovely turbojet assault boat. Now this guy reminds me a little bit of the character Bennett from the movie Commando, as played by the fantastic Vernon Wells. Now it's funny that this guy wasn't in the Commando range, because then they could have ripped off that movie. Oh well, there's a uh, opportunity missed, I guess. Now, um, unfortunately, the killer seems to be wearing some kind of flesh-coloured overalls. It makes him look a little bit, well, overly sexy, I think, for a kid's toy. But he is very special. And I would actually like to get this guy into my collection, but I haven't found a loose version of him yet. Um, it, yeah, it's only these ones with the, with the vehicles. And even these are not that expensive. I think they're about 14 or 15 euros for a boxed vehicle, but I just don't have the room for it. And it would be a shame to have something... What, what would I do with it, really? And um, as for the other figures that we've seen whilst going down this rabbit hole, nah, don't really need those either. And I don't have the room for them either. I, I didn't even expect to be collecting any of these figures. But they do make really good bad guys to go up against the Galoob A-Team. As you can see, there, there's something very special about them. Let's put it that way. And they are obviously very evil, as stated on the packaging. Now, I would like to get some of that general patch stuff, the original stuff, but then I would just be buying it because the artwork was really cool. The figures themselves are um, nowhere near the quality of G.I. Joe. So that would also be completely pointless. And with that, we have finally come to the end of the video. Now, the rabbit hole is still open and there's still many more different versions of these figures. So um, if you feel like it, why not go further down there, see what you can find. Let me know in the comments if you find anything interesting. Now, thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to click on the like button. Share the video with friends and family. And if you've made it this far and you aren't subscribed yet, then you might as well subscribe now. And make sure you click also on the bell icon so that you never miss one of my silly little videos. It's free and you'll get a glow of internal happiness, safe in the knowledge that you've helped me out a little bit. Right, thanks again for watching. And I'll see you on the next one.